guys, this is Wind Clamp 5270 again. Um, you can probably already tell there's been a significant improvement in the audio quality of this video compared to my previous videos because I've got a new mic and I have switched uh, video editing softwares. Uh, Camtasia really like to compress the audio of my videos, which made me sound really robotic. And it made my voice sound really weird. So hopefully, uh, from now on, my videos will have much better audio quality compared to before. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, today's video is going to be a follow-up to a previous video I made uh, a little over a year ago called uh, Top 5 Web Browsers for Windows Vista in 2017. Um, but here it is 2019 and although I did make a video on using Vista in 2019 a few months ago um, I still see quite a bit online people asking well what is the best web browser to use on Vista so I'm gonna dedicate this video to just web browsers on uh, Windows Vista since that seems to be the most commonly asked about uh, application and more, more than likely the most significant application that one would need in an, <clears throat> in an operating system today. So, um, so you may remember from my previous video, um, if you watched it, I talked about uh, Roy Tam One of MSFN.org, and uh, he's developed several. Uh, different browsers for Windows Vista which are based on uh, the uh, Basilisk browser which is called Serpent however as he is outlined here in this post it's these names are subject to change in the future um, so Serpent is basically it's a, a fork of the P Basilisk web browser um, which is developed by Moonchild Productions, which is the developer of the Pale Moon web browser, which I showcased in my video from 2017, because at the time it was still a viable web browser on Windows Vista. However, it has since been discontinued on Vista. Um, but anyway, um, Serpent is Basilisk, and New Moon is basically Pale Moon for Windows Vista and XP. These browsers also work on XP. Um, really, all it is is it's the latest versions of those browsers. However, the code that was removed, which allowed the browsers to run on Windows XP and Vista, has been restored by RoyTam1. So that's what I'm using here is New Moon 28 or Pale Moon 28. Um, and previously, you could only download these browsers manually and install them manually you had to extract them with 7-zip and quite a few people didn't like that um, they wanted an installer for the browser so they wouldn't have to you know download them manually and upgrade them manually however thanks to a community member by the name of i430vx um, we now have an installer um, which, by the way, requires uh, the Visual C++ 2008 redistributable package from Microsoft. I'll put a link to both the x86 and x64 versions in the description. And all you have to do is download and install the version pertaining to your system. If you don't know what uh, system you have, just go to the Start menu, right-click on Computer, and go to Properties. And it'll say right here, uh, either 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. And if it says 32-bit, you'll download the x86 version. And 64-bit means you'll download the x64 version. Um, but anyway, I already have that downloaded and installed. And again, I'll put the links to both of those in the description. And um, I'll put a link to RoyTam1's thread as well. But let's take a moment to look at the installer that i430vx has created um, so all you have to do is run it like that after you download it which I'll put the link to it in the description as well and uh, remember you have to install the visual C runtime 
uh, first before you can run this installer. If you don't have that installed, it's not going to work. So you need to download and install that first. But once you've done that, uh, you can run the installer and uh, it'll just say he hello and welcome to the unofficial installer, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you just press any key to continue. And it will um, go ahead and generate the latest builds of each browser. Um, Basilisk and New Moon. So, uh, since I have New Moon already installed on this system, to demonstrate, I'm going to, to install Basilisk. So, here it says, Which do you want to install? So, you just press the number. Um, I'll press 1 for Basilisk, and then I'll press 2 for x64. Um, however, if you're on x86, you can only choose that one. But if you're on 64 bit, you can choose either one, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just going to choose x64. And it will download it. And while that's downloading, I will take a look at another browser. If for whatever reason you don't like the um, Basilisk or New Moon 28 browsers, or if you can't use them for some reason, um, you can try out the uh, New Moon 27. Uh, branch that Roy has been maintaining, which is basically it's Pale Moon 27, which did officially support Windows Vista. However, the official build has not been updated since July of 2018, if I remember correctly. Um, what this is, it's it's a continuation of that browser, um, as in he's taking the security updates for Pale Moon 28. I assume this is what he's doing. He's taking new security updates and porting them to this older version of Pale Moon. So it's basically like you're still using Pale Moon 27, but you're still getting updates. So you could download this version of Pale Moon. If for whatever reason you prefer 27 over 28, you could download it. Um, this is not supported by the installer, however. And um, another one is Chameleon on Goanna, which is the Chameleon web browser. Um, However, it uses the same rendering engine as Pale Moon does, so it's it's more standard compliant than the last version of Chameleon, which is from 2015, and it's really out of date now. So you can use this version of Chameleon instead and get better um, compatibility with uh, websites today. So those are. Those are probably the best web browsers for Windows Vista, or they are the best web browsers for Windows Vista today. And uh, as you can see, the installer is done, so all we have to do is just press any key to continue. And we can open Basilisk. And it should open, as you can see. And there we go, we have a modern web browser on Vista that still continues to get updated and uh, these names for these browsers are probably going to change very shortly after this video gets uploaded um, but you know the the idea is still the same I mean you you can still go to the same post on MSFN and get the latest builds uh, they just may no longer be called new moon or serpent anymore soon because they were talking about changing it to you know something more uh, unique instead of just using these generic names um, but anyway um, that's about it for this video I just wanted to basically just point out what options we Vista users still have in 2019 as far as web browsing goes since I know that's a very important aspect of using an operating system today is a web browser so um, I may m make more videos like this in the future, maybe something like about uh, antivirus software, things like that. Maybe split it up into different categories of software for Vista instead of trying to make one video that covers them all because I know it can get a little bit long trying to do that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.